Right, um, today we're going to fit an 88 hood stick set, full hood. Uh, tool in is fairly simple and straightforward. We have a socket with a uh, 10, 11, 12 and 13 mil socket. Uh, spanners, 10, 11 and 13 and a flat screwdriver. Right, first of all, first hoop. The socket's are already in the car. Rear hoop is exactly the same. It literally just slides into the socket. They both slide down into the stoppers. So there's a washer on the top of the clamp. It goes through the pre-drilled holes. Washer and nut underneath. And literally do them up till they clamp down tight. Hoops in there solid. Same thing again, bolt with the washer and the nut up underneath. So you can see there's not much space. Okay, done till tight, just to make sure they're in. Next job is to fit the uh, two tie bars onto the back and then the interim hoop in the middle. We have the uh, clamps on the top that need to go facing that way so that that is inside the cab. The, uh, the shaped profile there goes behind the bar and is then clamped into place by the screw going through the holes in the front. Um, and that's the same, repeated both sides on both ends. So these are down to the flat headed screw washers, uh, screw bolts, sorry. They have a 10 mil nut on the far side of them and obviously a washer as well to back it off so they're just loose fitted on there so they can't fall off just to make life a little easier we'll get in the back to fit the interim hoop the bolt goes through to the inside with the nut on the inside just so that nothing protrudes and goes into the side of the hood Right, that's all of those on hand tight. So we can then tighten these ones up, tighten these first, and then we'll tighten the ones to the main rails afterwards. Okay, that's the uh, center hoop all done up, tightened. Then we'll tighten up the tie bars to the main hoop rails next. Yeah, there's no washer to the outside of these because the screw heads fit in to the rail. There is a washer on the inside where the nut is there. Next is the uh, front screen header rail. It drops onto the top of the screen. Um, there's pre-drilled holes already in the header rail, oh, and in the screen rail as well for that matter. Um, same size bolts as before, the little three-quarter bolts. And they are better off coming up through with the washer on the top and the nut. Triangular corner plates that go underneath the screen rail bolts come up through the same bolt through the header rail as well again if you get all these hand tight and repeat again on the other side on the driver's side um, right now we'll tighten up the nuts and bolts starting in the middle try and centralize your header rail there's a center um, point to grab the the hood with that's in the middle of your screen Right, I'm going to do these up, but not overly tight, so that I can get the uh, overdoor drain channels in first. Okay, passenger overdoor drain channel, bracketry on the back to sit on top of that bracket there. This shaped part here sits inside the, hood, the front overdoor, so it should slide in and under. Uh, bolts and washers up through from underneath, through the plate and into the overdoor drain channel. Again, we're doing these up finger tight, much like the rear hoops, just to get them all aligned to start with. If, um, if you can't allow, align your bolts in the ones over the overdoors, <coughs> best thing is to slacken off the header rail again, the screen header rail, and uh, see if that makes life any easier with the plate underneath. Again, just finger tight because we need to put the side channels on and align the doorway. 
All right, side door drain channels. There. Again, we're only going to loose fit these and hold it at the back. And these should line up with the edge of the door. So if you can get them in place and do them up, Right, when those are nearly tight, you need to shut the door up to align the vertical with the side of the door, just to see that they're somewhere near straight together. Uh, whether you've got the old style door rubbers that actually rivet to the sides, uh, which will be riveted to your hard top, both on the top of the door and the side of the door, or these newer ones that just clip on, um, you can pull them off, put them to one side to align your door, just loosen and off to fine adjust. Squaring up from top to bottom. And they can be tightened up so they don't move. And then we do the same with the overdoor drain channel as well. Line that up with the top of the door. Hopefully you can make any adjustments in the slots that are provided in the hoop. Again, that can be tightened up so it doesn't move. And that's basically the overdoor and side door fitted at this end. Um, and then we just have to tighten up on the header rail. The front end here, where it all clamps together with the header rail, um, your overdoor drain channel shouldn't stick out too far. Obviously, you've got the rubber mount um, for the, the door seal. As long as that's aligned with the one that runs down the screen, you should be in the right place. Uh, so that's the door in ready to, and the doors surrounds done and we can refit the rubber seals around the doors. Probably best to start in the corners, get the corners in and the same on the other side, start on the corner. the seals. Uh, in the kit you also get the rope hook from uh, left and right hand ones um, and the rivets to rivet these on with. Um, you also get the hooks that are fitted to the rear of the body. So you've got the rope hooks that fit on the back, the staple shaped one, again rivets to fit and the ones that are, go above the tailgate mount in there um, and what therefore will become evident when we fit the hood. Um, well, today we're fitting a khaki hood onto the Land Rover. So we have the hood. Get that through and up onto the bars. Making sure you have the front at the front. Unfold it a bit, it helps it hold itself on the bars further away. And then gradually hook all the tabs over at the front. Then work your way along the side, the overdoors. They've got two tabs inside that you hook the pipe in through. These are a bit fiddly to get at because they're set quite low in the channels, but do just need to hook in behind. Pull the hood down in, and just tighten the cord up a bit. And then unfold the rest of the hood to the back. Uh, this tab here folds back through between the rail and the side door drain channel. It goes through and then it will buckle back inside in a minute. Just make sure that the rest of the hood goes into the side door channel. It should go right down to the body mount and the rope hook at the bottom, which we'll tighten up in a minute. This is the flap that we pushed through earlier on. We're now going to go around the bar and into the buckle. Not pulling it too tight at the moment because you have to take up the canvas to the back of the car. Whilst we're here, we will do the um, tab that comes through the overdoor drain channel and across the header rail, front screen header rail. It wraps over the top bar and just gets tied off, obviously pulling it tight. 
Right, next we're going to push the flap in the middle of the roof back up over the bar. This has two straps on it which hook onto the front screen header rail and just make the front taut. These then hook through the front header rail. There's two little staples and buckle back. That's the driver side one. We'll do the same on the passenger side. So we'll tension to the back now, put in the straps through the body staples that were fitted earlier. Again, back through the buckles. Should be able to take all of the tension out of it, tighten them up nicely. Same with this side. We can then tighten up the, the strings down each side of the hood. We've already fixed it to the uh, front rope hook, and then we go along and hook them over the body mount staples. To the back, tension in the string up, and then wrapping round and onto the staple at the back. Uh, take the rope that comes across the top of the hood, it goes in through the canvas that's the back door and then you gradually pleat this piece of canvas up that's on the back. So it gives it two or three pleats around the corner. It then opens up and goes around the back of the hood, uh, around the back of the hood stick, sorry, through the eyelet in the side of the hood. Round the back of the hood stick again, and then ties off on the same staple that the side ties off on. Each side has a flap. There's a flap on the side that allows you to pass the buckle, the strap through to the buckle, and then tuck the fabric into the side and do the back door up. Lastly is the bottom rope on the back door. There is a metal fastening on the inside of the hood. One end of the, one end of the string across the back door has a loop which just hooks over that and then it gradually pulls taut along fixing to the various fixings as you go. So you can go round the staple. The tail end of the rope, again metal fastening on the inside of the hood. Just pull the back taut, hook around, and tie it off. Just tuck the loose end in the pocket. And lastly, just tighten up all the front straps again on the sides, just to make sure that they're still taut now that we've pulled it to the back. Again, there's a bit of movement in that one. And again, check the ones above the screen, but they should still be fine. Uh, once you've fitted your hood, there will be some areas of loose. Um, this is to allow for shrinkage. Um, you should try not to undo the hood, uh, certainly in the first, first week or so, particularly if it's got wet, um, to allow for it to shrink, but stay in shape and size.